Hey, we're back with another episode of Battle Brothers, and I'm considering replacing Kerbal Space Program with uh, Battle Brothers simply because I I don't feel like I'm I'm not really having fun playing Kerbal Space Program. It's not that I'm not having fun; it's just the videos don't seem to turn out to be uh, overly interesting. Whereas this uh, this is a little bit newer game, and I enjoy it. It's a fun little game, so I think I'm gonna. At least for now, maybe just replace this week coming here with uh, Battle Brothers instead of Kerbal Space Program. So where we left off, uh, we attacked Hoggart and we left our battle site there. And we're going to go back down here and get our reward. And uh, I'll give you a little bit of time as these go through here. Uh, some of them I might read, some of them I may not. But I'll give you a little bit of time to read these as we go along. And I've been working on my video and microphone quality, so hopefully uh, things are better. We'll find out here shortly. Uh, I didn't seem to be having a problem with some games, but it seemed like Farming Simulator was getting real hard to capture. Uh, I guess it's just because there's so much movement going on in the game, it makes it hard to capture. Uh, I think maybe the bit rate wasn't high enough. So uh, let's see, they don't have any contracts. Uh, I don't think I want to spend the money to jump to any of these. I might I might sail over here, but it's so close. We may as well just walk. I'd like to find another contract for us to take on. And we'll just go ahead and speed it up and end on right up over there. Uh, so these... These are some of the buildings. Uh, Barbara, you can customize your uh, mercenaries. Change your beard, change your hair, things like that. Uh, the temple is a place to heal your mercenaries. And we've already seen the tavern. And we've also got the, the same marketplace and uh, people to hire from here. Uh, I don't know... Uh, what it is, apparently I've, I've got the yawns today, so I apologize. There's no contracts here either, unfortunately. So, I think we're going to have to move on. We'll check and see if there's anybody here. We don't have a lot of money. Uh, so I think uh, I think we'll just leave while we look through the marketplace. Because we've got enough money for 14 days. And we've got enough food for 4 days. So I think I'll buy some fish. That'll put us up to 6 days worth of food. Uh, I think I might grab some, well, I, I'd like to get some medical supplies, but just, they're too expensive and we just don't have the money right now. So I'm going to sell off uh, some of that equipment that we looted. And uh, as you can see, this is uh, part of the village, but it was something at one point but is now ruined and I'm not entirely clear if those come back or not uh, but I know uh, enemy factions and orcs bandits and raiders and things like that uh, if they raid a place they'll destroy uh, different parts of the town and as they destroy parts of the town once all the outside parts are destroyed from what I understand the town itself uh, can be destroyed so let's see if they got any contracts here So it looks like they have a contract here. And these skulls let me know that it's a second level or medium level difficulty. And I'm not entirely sure that I'm ready to take on uh, a two skull level contract. Now it goes uh, one skull, two skull, and three skulls. So this guy looks like it's just a uh, just moving things from one place to another. So let's see what he's going to pay us. It's just $180. So even though it says it's a two skull difficulty, the pay seems like it's uh, it's not a very high pay. So let's see if we can go him out of a little more cash. 
So $200, I think I'm going to take the risk and accept the offer. And we got to deliver this cargo to this particular person here in this town in the northeast. So let's see just exactly where that is. Uh, that's a pretty good distance up there. But I think we can make it hopefully without any major problems. It's likely that we could go up there and not run into anybody. But it's also likely that we could go up there and get ambushed on the way. So this is a, a little ambition that you can pick. And I'm probably going to take the one to get the company back up the street. Uh, so basically, what they want us to do here is, uh, with this ambition, they want to get us back up to 12 men uh, total or more. And this one uh, wants us to ally with the town by doing missions and help them. But I think I'm going to go back uh, to get back with a dozen men. I think that's the easier choice. And as you go around the world, you can see uh, there will be different different uh, parties traveling like these guys here now if I wanted to attack them if I remember how to uh, how to do this you can actually attack these people if you uh, so wish but I don't because most likely they're much higher level and higher skilled than we are but as you can see there's uh, different types of uh, convoys going on you got trading and supply caravans So it looks like uh, we made it here, and I I'm dealing with my cat. I've got the door open, and all of the cats are in here. And for whatever reason, she picked this particular time to want to come in here and uh, be a little nuisance. Maybe she'll just lay down and go to sleep. But uh, we completed the contract, and it's uh, not too hard of a contract. We made two hundred dollars, so that's uh, you know that's a pretty good deal. So let's see if they got another mission for us. Uh, they only have a tavern here. We got a little bit of extra money, so we might hire somebody. So, this guy's a witch hunter. Uh, he's a refugee. Hmm. So, it doesn't look like uh, there's anybody because. I don't have the money to outfit them, I don't think. I think I'd rather see if there's any anything I could use. Uh, we're just kind of low on funds, so I guess I'm just going to have to see what we got offered here. And see, this is a one skull contract. So, sounds like they've got a uh, problem with a, a piece of stolen artifact that they want back. So uh, they want to pay us $400 for it. And I'm thinking that even though this is a one skull contract, $400 is a lot of money. This could be out of our league. So let's just go ahead and try it by doubt. And uh, apparently I've got Jan Itis today for whatever reason. So uh, I, I think I'm going to save here before we jump into this. Oops, let me name it two there. So before we jump into this, I think, you know, I wanted to save just in case things go uh, pear shaped. Hmm. Well, uh, hopefully, this isn't going to, now the dog and the cat are running around the house, hopefully this won't be too bad. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to space bar here and try to let them come to us. Let's see what they do. Hmm. 
Okay, so up here at the top, there's four of them and six of us. And it's the first turn. So there's all four of them. And I think it looks like uh, I don't have a very good chance to hit anybody. So I'm just going to take a shot. And I think what I'll do is move up and shield wall and end his turn. Then I'll move up with him, shield wall, and end his turn. Uh, I think I'll move him up to, to well, I don't, I don't really want to give up the high ground, but I don't think he's going to safely take it. And I want to move him up and put him in the spear wall. So if the enemy tries to move into his zone of control, he gets a free attack. So we'll end his turn, and we go over here and do the same here. So let's see what happens. Looks like they'll get to move shortly. So I think I'll just wait again, and another miss, to see if they try to move into our zone of control. Maybe we'll get some free attacks on them. So I'm going to get rid of his shield if I can. Didn't quite make it. He has a shield too. I think I'm just going to keep the line formed. And see, he got a free attack there. That knocked him back. But he missed the second one. So, looks like he got two free attacks in there. So I'm going to put him, I think, uh, back into Sphere Wall and Shield Wall. I'm going to knock this guy back and go back to Sphere Wall. Now I'm going to try to break this guy's shield. And then that'll be uh, it for this turn. I think I need to move down this way to get a clear line of sight. So his shield's already broken. So let's uh, see if we can take him out. So he's done. And now... I think I'll uh, wait for them to move and see if they move into my sphere wall. Yeah, looks like they're going to move into the sphere wall and they might kill themselves on it. Well, I missed that one, so. And our guys are starting to run low on fatigue, so that was the end of the shield wall there. Uh, I think I'll leave him on the high ground. And 26% chance to hit. Well, we take his shield away and that'll help fix that. Now, missed him, so to be expected, it's a low chance to hit. Looks like things are going uh, decently well for us. Let's surround this guy and <laughs> end, the, end his shield there. And our guy's out of stamina now. And that's the end of him. <sighs> It looks like this battle is going to go mostly in our favor. So that's a good thing. And our archer's been uh, mostly useless, seems like. Oh, that was probably a bad idea on my part. I probably shouldn't have moved him up there. So that's the end for him. And uh, we'll space bar him and see if we need him later. Nope. Yeah, I think we're okay. Nobody got an injury. He got hurt for a little bit of damage. Or hit for a little bit of damage. But he's okay. Looks like everybody, except for our new guy, has leveled up. So let's see what kind of loot we got here. Hmm. We might take that shield. And these helmets could be okay. So we'll just take them off. So, uh, yeah, that wasn't too bad, right? So, let's see. This helmet is a uh, lower vision. But it's, yeah, it's pretty decent armor. So I think I'll put that on this guy here. Because we want our uh, original companions to have good armor. And it looks like these are roughly about the same, except for this has a lower health. Uh, I think that'll about, that'll about do. We'll get rid of the uh, other equipment here.
Too bad we didn't get any good new weapons. Uh, so here we go. We got 400, 400 crowns. And one of our guys is now in high spirits. And the people are going to like us more because we've helped them with the problem that they had. Uh, oh, the town's in high spirits. So everybody here likes us. And probably give us a little better prices. So let's see what we can get. Uh, I definitely want some tools and supplies and some additional supplies. And we'll sell these here. Uh, I think uh, bandages aren't overly expensive, so I'll take some bandages. Now, I don't know how to trade goods work, so I'm not going to try to make money or get rich off of them because I'm afraid I'm going to lose money instead. I've got 12 days worth of money and 5 days worth of food, so I think I'll buy an extra thing of provisions. And we got plenty of ammunition. So we have a uh, $783. That's enough for 11 days. I might pick up an extra guy. Just depends on what I can afford and who they've got. So I think uh, we're going to go with a mason here and try to get him something to fight with because I've got a feeling that he's probably unarmed completely. He doesn't have a very good melee or uh, um, range skill so he'll be a melee guy and I might see uh, if I get lucky here. No they don't. I was hoping for a, uh, oh, dang it. a, a, a longer range weapon. A, a weapon with two space range. So we've got four days worth of money. And we've got a new member of the company, which may not have been the best idea, but it's too late now. At least we've got uh, a meat shield. If things go wrong, we can throw him at the enemy while the rest of the guys run away. Uh, I'd, I'd like to stay down here, but there wasn't any missions. Uh, I don't, don't really care for fighting in the forest, but I guess I'm just going to have to go up this way and see what comes our way. See, we can attack this trading caravan, see, if, if I wanted to. Uh, we could actually be bandits or raiders, but uh, that's, that's not how I want to play. It sounds like there might be some wolves around. Well, no. I thought sometimes you would get uh, the sound effect if there were actually... Sometimes there's dire wolf contracts to take out dire wolves. I definitely don't want to go towards the forest. So, I'd rather stay down this way. So, let's check this village out. And I hope we find something soon, or else I'm going to run out of money. But I, I think I'd... I, I'm going to keep playing Kerbal Space Program, and I may record an episode on it from time to time. But I really don't think I'm going to make it my mainstay. So, this is probably going to do something with bandits, I'm thinking. Yeah, okay, brigands keep sneaking in the town at night and they raid the granaries. So, if you look, the village has a negative status modifier. $410. Well, let's see if we can squeeze some more money. Okay. So, we get 440 crowns for completing this contract. As you can see here, they have ambushed trade routes, which means prices are higher. And they don't have as many goods. But they also have this guy here who's a master bow work and I wish I had enough money to afford a better crossbow but I don't so let's see these guys are down here so I think I'm just gonna save again uh, just in case let's save here I like to save a lot with these sort of games uh, you never know when things may go horribly horribly wrong So let's run down here and see what kind of terrain we're going to be fighting in. Uh, I think we might be able to make it. Just a few thugs. And thugs usually aren't too hard to kill. Nor are they very well equipped. So 
just like before. Let's see if we can get them to come to us because they don't have any archers. So right now we have an advantage because we have a single archer and we also have some decent weapons and equipment. It looks like they also are, are about the similar in equipment. So they've moved forward. So I think what I'll do is uh, just go in the shield wall and see if we can catch some of them. This guy here with the two-hander, he's the most dangerous. So I want to take him out first, if possible. So this guy can't do much right now. So we'll just leave him up here on the flank. And we'll go in the shield wall with our other guys. Uh, I think we'll wait with him. It may be a bad idea. I, I might need to move up. I maybe should have moved up and attacked first. To try to get the axe guy out of the way. Well, no, that will work out. Because that now, I think my guys are going to be relatively safe. So let's move up and see if we can take out this guy quickly. I think I'll leave him out there for the moment. Now, if we had armor, that pit could actually be a problem because it has armor piercing. Now, he's wavering, so I need to do something. I think I'm, I'm, I, I was hoping to kill that guy in a single hit. Nah, we didn't make a hit there either. This could be bad. He's injured, so it might not be as bad as it seems. I can knock him off the high ground, which I may do, and then move up in his place. I think we'll try to kill some of these guys. Now, I definitely want to kill this guy. So he's starting to break, so that's good. And he's also injured, so we might kill him right here. Ah, we did. We killed him there. That was good. That was lucky for us. So this guy has a flail, and I can't see what that guy has. So I think I'm going to try to take out the this guy here first. Well, I've got a better chance to hit him. And, of course, I didn't do very good. Uh, shoot. I don't think this is going to put me in a position where I can hit anybody. I maybe should have been a little bit more aggressive, but I also don't want to lose any of my mercenaries this early on. We're just lucky that we haven't really got hit yet. And we also got lucky there that now we've got him out of the way. So let's see if we can get this guy. Let's take our chances with each one. I probably should have killed him off. Uh, I think we'll move him around like that. So we got lucky there and got a hit on him. And I think that'll be the end of these guys because now they're surrounded. As you can see, which gives us a higher chance to hit. So that worked out pretty good. Looks like we're going to walk away from this one without any major injuries. Now hopefully we'll get some good uh, good loot. Looks like we got some more level ups. And of course last time I forgot to uh, actually level up our guys. So now everybody that was originally with us plus our new guy. Or second newest guy. Is uh, ready to level up. So looks like we got some supplies. So let's just take it all. And we'll go in here and level our guys up. We'll click here to level him up now. Looks like he's got a lower resolve, but his initiative is fine. So I want to increase his melee skill. And I got good rolls, so I'll increase his defense from melee and ranged. And what, I don't know what perk. I'll probably take this one since it gives us more hit points. Oh, no, I don't want critical strikes. I want Colossus. Now, I'm not, you know, real sure what the most optimal, optimal path is here. But uh, I'm just going to try to take what I think makes sense. So I got a good roll here on fatigue and resolve and initiative and also health. So I'll just take health and uh, fatigue and melee skill. 
So a little extra hit points never hurt anything, right? So uh, we got, eh, we didn't get a whole lot of good rolls. Let's go for fatigue and melee defense. Uh, I think we'll just take Colossus for everybody. Extra health is always a good thing. So that wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. Of course, I, I am also playing on the easiest difficulty setting, so that probably has something to do with it. But uh, there you go. You can see a little bit more about the game. See, they no longer have the ambush trade routes. So we got 440 crowns, and we removed the negative status effect from this village. And they also probably like us a little more now than they did. So uh, let's see if we can take one more contract. Oh, and then uh, probably end the video after another contract. So they don't have anything for us. But here you can see uh, this place has a special armorer's workshop. It has a training hall. A weaponsmith as well. So the weaponsmith obviously has high quality weapons. And you see this one here is a named mace and then uh, what i was talking about i'd like to have a weapon that reaches two spaces like this uh, pike or this long axe it helps your guys to be able to fight from the back lines so you can uh, what i like to do is make a spear wall in the front and then have longer reach weapons in the back uh, mostly axes and it's really effective and here you can uh, level your you can help your le guys level up faster and the armor has uh, armor, obviously. So uh, there wasn't a contract here. And I think what I'll do is uh, check this armor. I guess I'm going to need to check and see if, that, uh, if the game sounds are a little loud. So I forgot to equip our bandages. So I'm going to give my original guys bandages. 55... We're going to give this guy some better armor. And we'll sell that. Probably sell some of this uh, other stuff here. Oh, you can get dogs. Uh, they're like a... Uh, you, you put them in your item slot and you can unleash them during the battle. And they're used for scouting. Uh, as it says up there, for scouting. Or you can uh, run after the enemy archers. Uh... Hmm. They don't have anything that I'm really interested in. Except for maybe these spears. I don't really have the money. So, I'm going to have to pass. And we'll stop on down here. And if there's not a contract down here, I'll probably end the video here. I'm, I'm trying to keep most of my videos between, you know, about 30 minutes to 50 minutes. But sometimes they come out a little longer. Sometimes they're a little shorter. Uh, and of course, there wasn't a contract here, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the game, and we'll save it. I'll, I'll save it right here, and we can pick up here in the next episode. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it, and if you are, please leave me a thumbs up, and if you're not enjoying it, leave me a thumbs down. Tell me what you liked or what you didn't like, and if you want to see more, as always, please subscribe. So, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.